Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic. Nature is about balance, not equality. Nature is about balance and not equality. Now, I'm putting this topic on video because a number of individuals have the context out of order. They mistake equality for balance. Now, what nature does when there is a natural disaster, it replenishes itself. In nature, there are roles for every living organism, whether it is an insect, a plant, an animal, the sun, it's all nature. Now the Most High established it that way. Why? Because it keeps everything intact. See, when it comes to human beings, what they've done over the past 50 years is created something that's totally different. It's man-made. And when something is man-made, it will fail. I don't care how perfectly you design a system. And let's take the system of marriage. Over the past 50 years, you've seen a decline in marriage. Now, marriage is basically based under a white European system. It's monogamous. Now, there are some individuals who actually believe in polygyny. But regardless of what your belief is, when it comes to marriage, marriage between a man and a woman, and that's what I believe in, has weight because you appropriate with each other. And what I'm talking about is men and women are constructed differently, although their roles are important. Now, the role of a man is supposed to be the one who is the designer, then he builds, and then he maintains the infrastructure. The role of a woman, she teaches, she administers, and she nurtures. Now, if you want to look at equality that was involved with what I said, each partner has three components. Now, when you become one, you are interlocked or interdependent. In other words, both of you are bringing something to the table that neither of you had as an individual. Now, the funny thing about this whole balance of nature is you've had men who have screwed it up, particularly the liberal left. And see, what the liberal left has done, and this is where you get all of these dictators, and why you had people like Mao Zedong and Vladimir, Lenin, Mussolini, they killed a lot of people. Now, why did they kill a lot of people? Well, they killed a lot of people who did not want the government to control them because they believed that the Most High was going to supply them with everything that they need. But see, the liberal left does not believe in the Most High. In fact, the liberal left in this country, many of the individuals are demonic people. 
Now, what does demonic mean? It's just someone who is filled with demons. Now, with every aspect of nature, there's a balance between good and evil, and good and evil do bump heads. Now, the whole purpose of balance, like I said, is to alleviate chaos and, of course, keep populations to a level that the populations can sustain themselves. Now, for the most part, if you look in the African-American community, the person who is running that community is the woman. Now, she's running it into the ground. Now, why is she running it into the ground? Number one, there is no man there. Number two, she has to utilize the system. And it's not that she's independent, but she's in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode, you get desperate. You try to do anything that you can in order to survive. When you have kids, you have to feed your kids. And you see in the black community, everything is out of balance. The problem is you have this black pastor who comes into the black community and he doesn't tell her that men who are responsible are necessary to continue the growth of a community. If you go to every community that's black and you have some that's white, what do you see? You see a church on every corner. You see a liquor store, a check cashing place, a beauty supply store. Also, you see a family dollar or some dollar store that's run by a Middle Eastern. And if you look at the landscape, most of these neighborhoods are riddled with crime. They're dirty. And the buildings are basically blighted, which blighted means that they're dilapidated, they're decaying. And who is running a number of these urban areas? Black people, black democratic people. Now, when I mention black democratic people, you have to add this black pastor into the mix. Now, I don't know why nobody is afraid to call this black pastor out. You see, a number of these pastors want money from their congregation. But do these pastors ever get out in the community and help? For the most part, I haven't seen any. Most of them will collect the money and they will go to the suburbs and live amongst white folk. But when it comes to balance, without balance, this is where you have a number of individuals who are very, very poor. And of course, they're going to live off the system. And living off the system means you're going to be in poverty. Your health is not going to be intact. The type of children you're going to have for the most part are going to be just like you. Running around making poor decisions. They're going to be criminal, violent, and they're going to be uneducated. Now, don't get me wrong, everybody who's from the hood is not bad, and everybody from the suburbs is not good. What I am saying here is that when you have no balance, you have chaos. And when you have one gender trying to be just like the other gender, well, you don't any longer have that fulcrum in the middle of the seesaw. The seesaw is tilted one way, or you have a tug of war between the genders of that community. Now, I'm not talking about the black community. I'm talking about society as a whole. Now, when the left came in there with their feminism, their Marxism, their socialism, well, what they did, they destroyed everything that was traditional. And when we had the traditional values, and that meant the most high being in our schools, individuals were much better. In fact, they were more respectful. Marriages lasted longer. Neighborhoods were cleaner. And you had individuals not just believing in themselves, 
but they believe in each other. Now, if you look at today, you have a number of kids who don't take care of themselves. You have a number of parents who haven't grown up. We accept everything in society from pansexuality to homosexuality to violence to being uneducated and deception. When it comes to nature, it must be balanced. Now, man is not God. Now, the reason why individuals who are religious, like Jim Jones was, is because he had a powerful voice. He could attract a number of people. But the problem with Jim Jones and some of these other so-called religious prophets is that they were false. The Bible says false prophets are not preachers. A preacher or pastor is receiving the word of God and he is passing it to his congregation. Now, when you don't have balance in any community, you have chaos. Again, you look at all of your urbanized cities like Chicago, Baltimore, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Detroit. Although a number of the people are African American, you can go outside and look at some of these white communities and they're doing the same exact nonsense when it comes to killing each other. But it is in the suburbs. Now, again, why is all this happening? Because we've accepted demonic people into this culture. And people who are very demonic are filled with the devil, Satan. They don't care. This is why when it comes to politics, a number of the individuals on the right, their speech is always silenced by the left because the right who believes in the traditional values is more of a threat to what the left wants to do. See, the left doesn't care about anybody but themselves. They enrich themselves off of destroying people. When it comes to racism, I already know that racism is alive and well. It will never go away. But racism, again, is not about skin color. It's about the group with all of the power who utilizes it to basically incapacitate the minority groups by excluding them economically, socially, and politically. You see, America is supposed to be a melting pot. And when you don't have balance everything becomes upside down. Now, when everybody is doing their roles, we don't have chaos. If you look at why Rome fell, it's because everything was out of order. And if you look at our laws, our laws were based off of the Judean Christian concept. Now, when the founding fathers set up the system, they knew, coming over here from England, that a king would destroy the society. So this is why they came up with the three elements or the components of government. Why? So nobody has any more power than others. It's called checks and balances. And see, when you maintain that order when it comes to balance, you don't have a country of chaos. And right now, America is falling into that third world country. Why? Because you have the left in this country who refuses to grow up. They refuse to be responsible for their actions. Yes, 
I know Roseanne, I didn't care too much for her show. But I believe she got her show canceled because she was a Trump supporter. Now she said something bad about Valerie Jarrett, who was one of Obama's people. Now Valerie Jarrett was an advisor to President Obama, and she was one of these persons who was indoctrinated with Marxism. Now, what Roseanne Barr said was hateful, but I can remember people like Bill Maher talking nastily about Michelle Bachman, Sarah Palin's child with Down syndrome. I mean, the left talks about the right all day. And if you're black or woman and you're conservative, you're going to be looked at as a coon or a sellout. Why? Because, again, the left wants to have a monopoly over all of the minorities. And see, the problem with black people is there's no balance politically. Most of your black people vote Democrat. That's why most of your black people still have this mindset that keeps them on the plantation. They don't believe in being free. And I'm talking about psychologically. Because a number of us blacks are used to being told what to do. The reason why we also lack having a community is we don't understand economics. And the economics that I'm talking about is investing in business. We don't want to buy from each other. And part of the balance when it comes to any community is the leaders of that community who are supposed to be men, they don't know how to get along with each other. They hate each other. They're jealous of each other. They really don't want anything but to be tough. I don't care if you come from the streets or educated. When it comes to understanding investing in business and listening to each other, if you have an idea, that is what can help grow a community. How are you going to get a woman of color to listen to you when you're going back and forth at each other. When it comes to everything in nature, whether you're black, whether you're white, you're supposed to live in balance. If you don't have balance, you have chaos. Now again, for every action, there is a reaction. That's one of Newton's laws. You're going to have that. And the reason why, again, you have balance is so you can have a population who can sustain itself. When you have a number of people who are uneducated, they're not going to understand anything about community building. Why? Because they've been brought up in an environment where they don't have anybody to teach them. All they know is what they see. And part of balance when it comes to the human race is to build families. And I'm going to use the black community as another example. The problem that we have as black people is strictly this. And I'm going to get on the black men about this. Too many black men are whoremongers. Let's just call it like it is. Many of them, they want to have sex with just about anything. And what they're doing, they're basically taking the lives of some of these beautiful black women out there by making them single mothers. Now, we talk about the single mother epidemic in the black community. But when the brothers 
or having sex irresponsibly with some of these black women. Yes, the black women should also protect themselves as well because it takes two to tangle. But a brother who's supposed to be a leader, just like that woman who's supposed to be an adult, you should understand that if you bring a baby into this world and you're not ready to be parents, you're already creating a system that is going to be unstable or a situation that's going to be unstable for the child. Now, again, with marriage, it is a stabilizer. When you have roles between two people, the roles are important. Now again, the Most High has created a kingdom. And a kingdom is God, man, woman, and child. And when you flip that script to something different, Because you think it feels good, this is what you get. You get poor communities. You get losses of family structure, uneducated people, criminals. Now, I'm saying this is all over, not just the black community. Because I can tell you what, I've seen a number of white women who have babies out of wedlock as well. And when you're indoctrinated by the demonic thinking of feminists, Marxists, and white liberals, you get a community that's always going to be devastated. Now, really what's going on when it comes to the lefties, they always say the right is racist? No. Usually if you're calling one side racist or sexist, then you're the ones who are the racist or sexist. You're just utilizing the name calling because you can't refute the argument. The bottom line with every community, you have to understand the laws of nature. And the laws of nature identify with being balanced. Again, when you don't have any balance, you have a lot of chaos. Now, I'm repeating myself because repetition is the mother of all skills. And I'm giving you examples on why you need balance. Because without balance, you have an upside-down world and everybody is running amok. When you have gangs like MS-13 coming in, into this country and they're called out on their savagery, but you have one side saying that you are calling immigrants animals, that's demonic thinking. And they know very well that these MS-13 gangs are animals. If you're killing people in cold blood, that means you are a sociopath. You show no remorse. And a lot of people on the left don't care about balance. They don't care about families. They want people to be poor because they benefit off of it. They don't want any type of standards. They want everything to be accepted. And what the left does in this country, they utilize the public relations very well. They cater to everyone's feelings. And I always said... If you utilize your feelings before you think something out, you're going to be wrong all the time. Because feelings override critical thinking. And most of us, when it comes to what's going on in this country, with the balance of nature, don't have a clue. And the lefties don't want you to have a clue. They want to keep everything unbalanced. See, if everything is in chaos, 
the people who are demonic, and I'm talking about the individuals on the left, can continue to break the system of traditionalism down and they can bring their own secularist system intact because really what they want is power. They enjoy being dictators. And in this country, we've been founded, particularly when it comes to government, on a judicial Christian concept. But the lefties in this country don't care about that. They don't care about the Constitution. They don't care about you as a person. And what they want to do is silence one side and they want their speech. Well, there are two sides to a coin. And both sides should be heard. Free speech, when it comes to balance, if you truly believe in free speech, you're going to believe in speech whether you agree with it or not. The left in this country doesn't want free speech. They want their speech. They don't want balance in this country. And I'm bringing you this video because I want everybody, whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Jew, to wake up. That's right. People who are black, white, Hispanic, and Jewish, and any other nationality or race, you got to wake up. Because these people who are on the left, they want to take everything that we have. From our money, to our guns, and they want to keep it themselves. They don't want us to know anything. They want to keep us enslaved. They want to keep us dumbed down. See, when you have balance you don't need the government because you can rely on traditional values like family. And if you have the most high and you follow his principles, you can continue growth in your communities. But many of us don't understand that concept because we've been indoctrinated over the last past 50 years by socialism, feminism, Marxism. And if you look around you, you have a number of people who are very narcissistic, they're sociopathic, psychotic, schizophrenic. And they don't have any remorse in their heart for their fellow man or woman. Life to them is just like one video game. And social media has alleviated or basically destroyed social skills. That's going to be my next video coming up. Because social media creates demonic people as well. If you don't believe me, Look at all the murders that have been videotaped on Facebook Live. So in this video, when you don't have balance, you have chaos. And with chaos, you have a society that's on the brink of destruction. If you don't believe me, look around you. You don't have to agree with me. See what's going on for yourself. And once you understand what's going on around you, you understand what I am presenting in this video. Because again, without balance, you will have societal destruction. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for this evening, Thursday, May 31st, 2018. You can tune in to the 411 Talk Zone radio show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. I will be getting the radio show back up soon 
I've just been busy with other projects, but I will bring some interesting topics on my blog talk radio shows. But right now, if you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube so I can continue to bring you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on my channel, I do not engage in debates, controversy, or emotional issues, nor do I participate in drama and or unnecessary bickering because it is counterproductive. What I do here on my channel is teach you how the real world works. Now, the information that I give you is research, and I also give you my own personal opinion. Why? Because if you have balance, we're talking about tonight's topic, you have lasting communities. If you don't, you have something else. A community that's on the verge of extinction. So when you have the tools that give you that knowledge, you'll have that power because you need to understand how the real world works. And again, the information that I'm presenting is realistic, but positive. And if you have a topic, a new YouTube channel, or business that you would like for me to talk about on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video but make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed night. God bless you.